miss me? I have missed you extremely, um, but like I said in my last video, there has been so much going on in the earth, and I really needed to take a step back and fight for the things that were important to me. Not that any of the race relations or the unrest in America has concluded, but I am at least in a place of strategic plan and peace in the... Oh, so I felt like it was okay to talk about something um, personal without demeaning the movement. So I still encourage all of you to do what you can for the Black Lives Matter movement, especially Breonna Taylor. Um, just calling Kentucky and demanding that there be an arrest, uh, a firing, an arrest, and a charge. Um, as much as possible, the more we speak up, um, and I will drop the number and information here, um, the more we speak up, the better it will be for an outcome. Now, I have been back talking to Elle. I feel like it's been a month. It's crazy that three months was like snail mail slow. And then us reconciling and talking is like, month is going by. So, the question on everybody's mind is, are we together? We are most certainly working on it. I took a moment to express myself in writing to him about all of the things that we have talked about um, and every truth about why we were on this journey. Y'all, he was not happy to say the least. He was not feeling it whatsoever. He was like, listen, I'm never being away from you for another three months. And then we were talking about manifesting things. Shout out to B. Simone. Um, just kind of taking some pieces of her book. And just that lifestyle of manifesting what you say. Seeing what you say. Um, I remember about a year ago. God had told me um, that my word for the year was abracadabra. So that I would be able to see anything that I uh, said. And so I was reminded of that and I was telling this to Elle and he was like, yo, I really believe that. I believe that everything I want in this life, I'm going to get, including you, including you, including you. So I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so we are in an intentional place. Uh, but what did I get from the 90 days? I got clarity for my mission as far as the work I have to do for God. I am more in love now with L than I have ever been. And he is more appreciative of me as a partner. Um, it's odd because I remember early on I was saying things like I'm really dependent on him and now he's become a little bit more dependent on me which is kind of counterproductive because both of us should be fully dependent on Christ. But he's certainly way more prayerful. The Lord revealed so many things to him about his journey and as it stands we are planning to live our life together. Um, with that being said, we have to address the elephant in the room, which is the prophecy. Thing one, do I trust the prophet? Absolutely. Thing two, do I believe that the pro what the prophet said was correct? 100%. Do I know if I'm interpreting it, pro interpreting it properly? Maybe maybe not <laughs> for I don't think from where I stand currently that I can walk away and just never know so I am depending on God every single day in prayer every single day in my walk and with my entire life and if God sees fit to intercept this plan and we're not by any means rushing into anything 
Um, so if God feels fit to have something else in the works, then we are going to let that be. But from what the both of us have been told and what we see from our relationships with God and from what we know, it's a go, baby. For where we are in this season, it's, it's a go. So, will I be back on YouTube, right? I am. I'm going to start pushing out some different content, a couple of things that are going on in my life. Very, very vlog style. I might, you know how I do, throw in a couple of things here and there. But now I really want to talk to some of my single ladies about being a girlfriend and the difficulties of not putting your whole self in it, that you're not a proxy wife. Um but also maintaining your identity i'm going to talk about some red flags i'm going to be talking about all of these things because even now that i have transitioned back into my relationship i will say that i have grown and changed so much so a lot of things that were okay before ain't flying now and we're finding a little bit of difficulty in that because we have to relearn each other we broke up or took a break as these people and we came back these people and we're very different now um but it has been going well but we do need to work on some communication but anyways i am going to have him sooner than you guys think as a guest so i know you're excited about that um on the channel um he is not crazy about it just yet but he will be and when he is on the channel yeah, maybe it might take like a month or so, but <laughs> I'm going to have him on the channel and so you guys can start dropping questions in the comment section down below about what you might want to know specifically from him because I've been hearing it from my side and he has a story to tell. So we will do that. Maybe we'll do like a phone call or something in between time to warm him up into this atmosphere but i appreciate all of the love everyone who has dm me facebook me sent a comment like yo what's going on t what's popping <laughs> i'm doing well um and my relationship is perfect for right now well i love you guys much god loves you most keep watching